Um, I think we have evacuated more than 550 people. Um, there were, I think, six separate flights, um, either directly from Kabul or through Dushanbe. Of these, um, more than 260 were Indian nationals. Uh, apart from, and I mean, this does not include the Indian embassy personnel who were also being repatriated and brought out from uh, Afghanistan. Uh, separately, um, Government of India also facilitated um, the evacuation of Indian nationals through other agencies, I mean, other countries um, and partners. So that just gives you a sense of what the evacuation efforts have been. Um, of course, in this evacuation process, we were in touch with uh, various countries, um, particularly, of course, the United States, uh, which is uh, controlling Kabul airport, um, as you mentioned, uh, in Dushanbe, the government uh, there, plus uh, military flights uh, overflew certain countries, um, such as Iran. Uh, so, of course, that kind of coordination also happened, um, I would say, even Uzbekistan, um, Iran, etc. Uh, so, that would be some of the sense of it, what we've done so far. Um, there was a query, of course, how many Indians are from Maha, how many left? Uh, look, this is a number that changes um, as we receive new information of people who contact us uh, with the request to uh, leave the country. There could be Indians there who may wish to continue to stay in the country. Uh, we may not know that. Or as, uh, to be honest, as they find new um, or other routes to other destinations, some of them have gone to other countries and we are aware of that. In fact, we have facilitated some of that and we have been in touch with other friends, uh, partners who have pulled them, uh, pulled them out. Uh, our overall assessment is that uh, the vast majority of Indians who wish to return uh, have been evacuated.